Hey, this is Danny. The channel's You and Me Living Free, and I decided to come to you from the back of the van this morning. Um, something a little different. I just got a new little, not a tripod, kind of a tripod, but it has bendy legs on it so that I can attach my camera anywhere. So it's attached over here. <coughs> I'll put the link in the description, maybe if anybody wants to check it out. But anyway, I love it, and so it's just allowing me to do different things with, uh, with the camera and all that stuff. So I'm in the back and I have actually had people ask me before, you know, can you show more of you in the back of the van? Because they're trying to get an idea of kind of spacing and how much room you have and everything like that. So I thought maybe I would just take a couple of minutes and show you the view that I have. Um, things are kind of messy. You'll see my dishes out and everything, but I wanted to give the, li the lived in lived in the real life real van life not the crap you see on Instagram so I am here at the beach and it is freaking wonderful and so why don't I pick up the camera and I will show you around a little bit okay first of all the view right so this is just my big my big sliding door in the van is open I can hear the waves see the gorgeous sand and the beautiful sky and this is what I go to sleep to and wake up to and I gotta tell you I got no complaints um, there's plenty of room to move around and stuff I wonder if with my new camera thing I could kind of put it up while I thought about making breakfast and kind of give you that give you that perspective while I'm kind of making breakfast I'm I'm sure it's not a pretty thing to watch, but it might be kind of functional for someone who, you know, is, is interested in being in the back of a minivan and wants to know what it's like. It makes me a little uncomfortable. I don't know why, maybe just vanity, cause that's like me kind of lumbering around back here. Cause I am a big girl and the minivan is not a big space. But I also want to show that it's, it's honestly really easy. I don't have any trouble um, you know, moving stuff around and, and getting everything ready for a mealtime or anything. It's, I've got a pretty good setup right now. So, you know, this wasn't going to be a breakfast, vi making breakfast video, but maybe I'll do that. And so let's give it a try. What's the worst that can happen? Starting a fire. That's the worst that can happen. <laughs> Starting a fire is the worst that can happen when you are in the minivan and you're cooking. Uh, fire's the worst that can happen. <laughs> I was initially I was thinking what's the worst that can happen I get a crappy video and then I can't post it or it doesn't help anyone or I look ridiculous doing this um, and then I thought no fire that'd be worse <laughs> anyway uh, let's do this okay let's give this angle a shot I wanted to try to get what I'm doing and where I'm reaching for everything but I'll have to kind of stoop down to talk and maybe sometimes I'll be up out of the shot or whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay, we'll give it a shot. Uh, the first thing I do is decide what I want to eat this morning. I, I would really love uh, scrambled eggs, uh, avocado toast, and let's throw in a clementine or two. Or maybe I'll save that for my mid-morning snack because avocado toast and eggs and everything sounds like kind of a lot already. So first thing I do is think about everything that I'm gonna need to make this breakfast so the pantry is back here normally I wouldn't have dirty dishes to move out of the way but I would just have all of the food boy this is this is like the most unflattering angles and stuff you can tell like I really love you guys and I really am putting myself out there because this is very unflattering for a big girl to roll around and reach around and show you all these completely unflattering views but I'm gonna do it in the name of love and in the name of uh, this could help somebody right and so also when you're watching a van tour think about think about like you think about how things look and everything but really picture yourself in this van and picture yourself going through the motions of how are you going to prepare things and where things are like i love people with the with the kitchen out the back but i've said this before it's like sometimes you're in an area that is um full of bugs 
I mean, it could be flies or gnats or mosquitoes or whatever. There's going to be a lot of times when you're outside when you're not in an almost completely bug free, free zone. Like I try to be because, you know, I love the desert and now I'm at the beach and there's nothing here except for a couple of flies and gnats, but they, they come and go. I don't know what brings them or whatever, but there, there'll be a whole days without even seeing one. But anyway, um, kitchen out the back also another problem with that is if it's cold you're cooking your food and it's already getting cold at the same time I like my setup because I can sit right here or here's my big open door right in front of me I can do all the same stuff move my cooler or my table over and just stand outside the van and cook inside or I can stand outside the van and cook at a picnic table or whatever so my setup works really well for me so when you watch a van tour, I really want you to think through. Sometimes things look great, but as soon as I start going through, well, how are you gonna to go to the bathroom? Like, I go to the bathroom a lot of times a day. And because I'm getting ready for meal prep, my bathroom is put away. A lot of times my bathroom just stays up all the time. Sometimes I have a slightly different configuration. My bathroom just stays up and I put a towel over it and put it to the side and do the same thing. Anyway, I've rambled long enough. Let's do breakfast. I'm going to show you some avocado toast, how I do some eggs. Um, we'll have a clementine. I'll show you where everything is. Okay, here's the deal. Decide everything I need, and then I just, like, pile it up. Um, I'm just reaching down into my bin underneath. See? Oh, this is hard. Okay, so underneath my feet, right here, I have my bins. Okay, maybe this part of the video I'll do from my perspective. This is me at about chest level. So the first thing I do is I reach down and I pull out this drawer, look how easy that is, and I get my skillet out. I do this one-handed. I get my skillet out. What else do I need in here? My skillet, I need my spatula that I used last night that was dirty, but it only had water on it, so I'm gonna use it. Um, I think that's all I need from this bin. Put that back in. Now my next bin is right here. I just bend right over. This is me just bending right over to this bin. A lot of times I don't have my water and stuff here. I pull this out. Okay, this has a ton of stuff that I need. I'm gonna get my plates and my napkins that I'm gonna need for prep and for everything. I'm gonna get my spices, salt, and everything else. I love these things. I love these little seasoning things. Got a cup for my Diet Coke, because I drink Diet Coke in the morning um, until I break the habit. So I'm gonna need a fork. I'll need a sharp knife and a regular knife. Um, what else? that's it for now okay put that stuff back now I'm gonna need uh, my clementines so get in my bin keep in mind this is a whole lot easier with two hands instead of one um, my clementines let's I'll get a couple of them out here's my pantry full of food Little birdie come to say hello. Hi. My avocado. Do it do. Okay, so I'm gathering up my stuff. Stuff I need to cook, stuff I need to all that. I got my fire. <laughs> I got my um, you know, fire thing. Easy fire spray, fire extinguisher because now that I said that a fire could happen, you know, I'm gonna be extra diligent. I'm gonna move my dishes out of the way. And then I'm gonna get everything I need out of the fridge, which I am gonna need some eggs, some butter, some, I'll put a little, a bit, tiny bit of American cheese in with some eggs. Eggs, butter, cheese, anything else in there I need? Oh, my Diet Coke. Do I even have a Diet Coke? I do. This is my last one. 
and my last one. I'm in need of a few groceries, so I might try to go to Dollar General today. There's no Walmart around. Okay, boy, this is super awkward and everything, isn't it? Um, I think for today I will cook on my cooler. Uh, I do that a lot, so I'll usually pull up one of my Reflectix uh, just to have a nice um, surface for it and not to get the cooler hot or anything, even though underneath the stove doesn't really get very warm. But anyway, I put it right there. Um, I have a big full thing of trash. So usually what I'll do is cook a little further back. Why don't I just do that? I'll just cook a little further back. Now, since I'm gonna be putting my stove on this, it has to be super level. That's where I just leave this kind of half dirty folded up blanket. Uh, so that I can fold to whatever I need and just pop it underneath my cooler to make it completely level. Uh, I am so jealous of anybody with a van who has uh, who has the floor completely done and level. That would be awesome. Like in my dream, in my dream life, that's what I would have. Uh, also, I don't want my drink or my thing over here. So I honestly, you know, just check to make sure there's nothing flammable right here. And then I'm gonna put my stove here. Well, my stove is right here. So I just reach over and grab my stove and pop it out right there. And everything there is fine. Now, what I usually do is I make my my um, eggs first and then my toast and I kind of eat my eggs while my toast is cooking so that's what I'm gonna do um, you can do it how you want this still looks a tiny bit uneven just this there we go all right there we go okay so I've got this Everything's spread out around me. I've got all my food and everything. Usually I have it to one side. I've got all my food, all my plates and everything out. And everything's good. So I'm going to light this. Super easy peasy. Get out my butter and just put a little tiny, tiny pat in just um, for the eggs. Just tiny one, just a tiny bit. A little for, probably for flavor more than anything. I have a non-stick pan, so nothing really, nothing really sticks. Just stick a little sliver in and melt that. And then I'll do my two eggs. I like to have a wipe ready when I'm doing my eggs, because if I were home, I'd be rinsing off my fingers, of course. Anytime you're working with raw food in the van, it's kind of, kind of a pain, so I don't, I don't do it a whole lot, but with eggs I do because they're, because they're worth it. Eggs are the, the best, one of the best things on the road, right? They're, they're easy, they're cheap, they, um, you know, they're fast in the skillet and everything. So I, I love having, plus I just love eggs. Okay. So I have my little wipe for my fingers. I have my trash here ready to go so I can put my eggshells in it. Okay. Let's do two eggs. Now I'm getting the egg off my egg off my hands, right? I usually slouch in the back of the van too. I'm trying to sit up a little straighter. <gasps> Suck in the gut. Okay. Um, no, I slouch. Okay, so let's do this. We get a little seasoning. We gotta season our eggs, right? Little little salt. Might have been a little much. I'm gonna put a little hot pepper flake, right? And a little uh, onion powder little minced onions, a little garlic, garlic powder for the perfect egg. And then I'm just going to scramble these. Do -do -do. Stuff cooks in this, in this pan so fast. I'm going to turn the heat off and throw in a little bit of half a slice of cheese just for a little creaminess. I 
have the band-aid on my thumb because I cut myself yesterday cutting up green pepper and onion. That was no fun. So leave the band-aid on a little longer. Okay, now I got my eggs. They're pretty much done. I'm just gonna mix up that cheese in there and finish cooking the last in the warm pan because the fire isn't even on anymore. Again, I always keep my hand on the, for you real newbies, I had to learn everything the hard way because I was never a camper, never did any of this camp stove stuff, never had any of this experience. So when I came out on the road in my minivan, it was all new to me. Every single bit of it was new to me. So I had to learn everything. So the first time, you know, I had a skillet or whatever, it was, you know, falling to the side or whatever. So, I mean, it's a wonder I didn't burn this thing down. Okay, I've got my eggies and they look delicious and wonderful. Okay, okay. I'm not even gonna clean this pan or, or do anything with this pan except for get my eggies out of the way and put a little butter in here for the toast. So, turn my pan back on. I just leave the eggs. And then I put on butter. Um, a couple of decent pats, that one's kind of small. A couple of decent pats if I'm gonna do I was just gonna do two, one piece of avocado toast. Let me do two pieces of toast and then I'll see. And then I'll see. I might, I might save my clementines. Anyway, okay. So here's that. These are done, the butter's melting. Let's get out the toast, let's get out the bread. Bread best by April 12th, so it should be okay. like to do especially for avocado toast is just cut this in half just cut it in half okay the butter's cut in the bottom of the pan Wait for that last little part to melt and then I just lay out my toast in the pan lay out my bread in the pan to soak up that butter and then I just uh, I just cut my bread up because for avocado toast I like to have smaller pieces and also um, it just fits better in the pan so now during this time I'm gonna have a couple of bites of my eggies my eggs why am I keep calling them eggies I don't know mmm yum my toast is going I need to prep my avocado. A lot of times what I use for a cutting board is just my plate with a little plate on top to keep it clean. That works pretty well actually. Pretty well indeed. I'll get this bread mostly done and then I'll just flip it and turn off the heat so that it can stay. Oh, and this avocado is awesome. All right, that looks done. So, I'm gonna flip it. And just leave it in the warm pan. Did it do? Leave it in the warm pan while I eat some eggs. Yum. And then I'll come back and spread the avocado on. So I've just put my slices of avocado on my toast and then I just mash it a little bit. That's literally all I do because the avocado is perfect. I 
could season it up a little bit, but. Oh. It's hard to improve on perfection. Mm -mm -mm. Yum. I've got my great view. Well, there you have it, breakfast in the van. I hope that helps someone. Uh, <laughs> and um, I hope it helps someone. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it, actually. I thought it was gonna be a big pain in the butt. And it was a little uh, awkward, but but pretty practical and, and kind of fun. So I hope that helps someone. And uh, now I have to clean up the mess, which is no fun. But I've shown how I do dishes before, so I'm not gonna go through all the mess of trying to shoot that as well. Uh, if you want that video, I've, I don't know, I've got it somewhere. Maybe I'll try to link it at the end. I don't know. I usually say that and then I forget. <laughs> then I don't link the video. Anyway, if you're still here, thank you so much. I'm sending you a ton of love. Thanks to all my patrons. Please um, like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you're here at this point, you've got to be liking and subscribing. Um, all right, I'll catch you next time.